You are on the uh, platform and a, and a major story, and I think a story worthy of uh, future or, or current examination, uh, is a report out from the IPCA yesterday, the Independent Police Complaints Authority, looking into complaints about police supposedly taking pictures of young offenders in particular for no particular reason, and in fact illegally, and then keeping a database of such offenders. And this report by the IPCA found that more than 50% of the 6,000 individuals who had their photographs taken apparently illegally and without due cause by police, more than 50% of them were Māori. And we know what that suggests, don't we? A bit of racism, good of old-fashioned uh, racial profiling by police, collecting a database of pictures, not of young offenders, of young people that they then had a database on. Now, what the IPCA has said, this is illegal and it's wrong. You've got to destroy all those photographs and you've got to apologise to the people who complained. I actually think they should apologise to everyone whose pictures they wrongly took. Well, Mr Costa, the police commissioner, he's taken this on the chin. He said, yep, we are very, very sorry. We do seem to have a cultural problem here or a systemic problem here. It won't happen again. I accept the report and we won't do it anymore. We won't go around randomly taking pictures of young people, largely based on their race, um, and have our own private database. We realise that, yes, this is illegal and it's naughty and because we're the police, we shouldn't do things like that. But that has not been the response of the Police Association, which is essentially the union or the association that represents um, police officers. In fact, they say they don't accept the findings of, of the report and that the IPCA has no bloody idea what it's like being a frontline police officer. Well, to discuss what I think is a rather surprising response, we are joined by uh, Chris Cahill, who is the uh, uh, President Chief Executive of the Police Association. Chris, welcome to the program and thank you for joining us. Good morning, Sean. Hey, can I just say firstly, have you read the report? Because your introduction is incredibly inaccurate. Well, give me, g you correct me the then. Away you go, you correct me. Did police not take, have police not taken the photographs of 6,000 people? They have, but not Okay, all so, we're, so I'm accurate on that. Let's just work through it. I want to give you the chance and, and to correct me. Calm down, calm down, Sean. No, no, what I want to give you the chance to correct me. You've come no, out and called me a liar, I'll, I'll so say, let's no, work Let's okay, work through see, exactly Sean, what I said, Chris. So we'll talk again another day. Let's, Chris, let's talk about exactly what I said, Chris, or, or you don't want to do that. No, he's hung up. Interesting. Maybe he didn't like the attitude. And the first question I asked, he says, you're inaccurate. I give him the first fact I put. I says, yeah, that's right. So I don't know, Chris Carl, your members would better understand if you want to enforce the law, you better follow it. You know? Because otherwise you absolutely destroy faith. So don't come out and call me a liar. And I say, OK, let's work and through and see where I lied about you. Um, you don't get to do that, Chris Cahill. Maybe you were feeling, maybe you were feeling a little bit vulnerable. Because I think it is shocking and amazing that the head of a police union, after months has been spent on a report, and, and look, Chris, you can email me now with the factual inaccuracies that you believe exist in, in my intro. Or sue me. You can't take me to the Broadcasting Sands Authority. They don't have any jurisdiction. That's amazing. Chris Carl, the head of the Police Association, comes out. His opening stanza is he calls me a liar. So I offer to work through exactly what my lie was. And he hangs up the phone. I wonder, if do you want to come around and take a picture of me, Chris? Or do you want to? Do police want to, frontline police want to keep breaking the law? by racially profiling people and taking their photographs illegally and running an illegal da database.